high radio. What is going on, people? It's your girl, Janine Mayo. You're locked into Pi Radio with me right now. The time right now is 6.24, and with me, I do have a special guest. He goes by the name of Ricky Walker. How are yep. you, Ricky, today? I'm great, thank you, Janine. Good, good. That's How amazing. I'm good. What have you been up to today, then? Anything uh, special? I've uh, just been in the studio working, okay, uh, okay. working on my new EP. Okay, okay. Uh, That's good. That's good. So the li- for the listeners who don't know who yeah. you are, let them know who you are, what music genre you do, stuff like that. Yes. Yeah, so so uh, my artist name's Ricky Walker. Um, I rap, uh, I sing, I do some songwriting as well, and I, I produce like most of my own stuff. Um, I've been doing it for quite right, a while so you now. You do everything. You do the whole. I've been around for quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just took. Um, obviously, I went to took the educational route, learned how to do certain things, and okay. uh, I just kind of. Yeah, like just learn how to engineer myself and stuff. Okay, so did you do that through education then? Through yeah, started off in college and then went to uni. Oh, um, how was that then? Was it was it quite hard yeah, doing it, it at the same time as music or is it? Yeah, I just thought academically I wanted to keep intellectual yeah. with certain things. Um, but I can't like always rely on producers or engineers. Yeah, like, that's really smart to be honest. I feel like that's a really smart way to think ahead of it. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Because like, say if I was like, oh, can you engineer this for me, like a vocal? Yeah. Uh, the engineer might take two weeks to get back to me. As well. With, with, with it's with you, you can just do I can it just for do yourself. It like, yeah. Uh, as There's no when waiting I want. on no one. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So how long have you been in the music scene for? About now. When did you start getting into music? Um. Obviously, I've had like a couple of releases. Um. But I, I'd say I, I've been doing it for like about ten years. Really? So a whole decade. Wow. That's good. That. But um. Obviously, like with music, there's there's different avenues that you can go yeah. down. You can yeah. take like the artist route. Yeah. You can take the songwriting route. Yeah. You know, you, uh, I've had some success in like writing songs for films. Oh no way! So let us know more about that. What songs did you write for a film? Um, so it's like it's called synchronization. Yeah. So like, if if someone makes a beat, like I'll write and sing to it, and then it'll get tracked off to like a, a film company. And wow. then like, so like say for example, um, Netflix, they yeah. they can, you know, film directors can go on there and choose yeah. films for like specific, you know, scenes. Yeah. Or like, like I've, recently I've had something on Sky Sports. Really? Yeah. That's really good though. Yeah, so Sky- you're doing bits either with, with both ways as yeah, well. Yeah, just behind the, the scenes. Yeah, like- behind the scenes. That's really good. That's really, really good. So I've seen like, like you said, you've been doing music for quite a long time. Yeah. And I was doing my research and I seen that you um, dropped a song back in 2012 with Retro 32. Yeah. How was that working with Retro 32? Uh, it was an experience. Was it? Yeah, I, I, I was clearly inexperienced at that time. Um, <laughs> like he, he like I think he'd just had a, like a, I, I think, I think it was before his number one, yeah. Don't Go, Don't Leave, remember yeah. that one? Yeah, I remember that Um track. But yeah, he was, was a great guy, like very, you know, very uh, placid, very nice to speak to, well respected. That's and really um, I think, I learned a lot from him. Yeah. And I learned from the way he works. You know, he wasn't intoxicated whilst he was working. Yeah. Like, you know, some so, you, yeah. you see Little Wayne in certain videos and everyone's yeah, like, it's kinda, like, it's real rap in the way. It's yeah, like, like it's conscious yeah, and it, it, yeah. it, it, was, it was clean, it was clear. Yeah. I like uh, that. And I got a lot of inspiration. Yeah, from, would you say that like, he's like one of the inspirations from definitely, when you started your music career? Yeah, definitely. Like, who, who else would you say that inspired you music wise uh, growing up? Uh, to do your music. Skepta, Chip, Skepta. Chip, um, P Money, um, and then also moving on to like the, the more soulful side, yeah. I would say like um, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, yeah. uh, Luther Vandross, Sam Cooke, yeah. you know, taking it back, yes, Motown. Yes. So when you was younger, what was like, did you listen to, listen to quite a lot of music when you was younger? Yeah, yeah, fair So fair what enough. was like your top favourite songs or artists growing up? I like Nelly, a Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Gra- yeah. is it a I seen um, Nelly perform. Country grammar. I seen Nelly perform at the club I used to work at at yeah. Cirque. Amazing performance, he's really, really um, good. Who else? Uh, like I said, Michael, yeah. uh, Off The Wall album. Uh, but again, you know, for the listeners might be like oh michael jackson but he's kind of the goat or the the yeah, guy that kind of set this r&b he thing is, off he is 100 um, i rate that though yeah just just generally kind of all, all, all types of music really so uh, what age was you when you got into doing your music was it from a young age or was it just from the 10 years that's when you 10 years ago that's when you just thought you know what i'm gonna go straight out to it there and then i well, was actually, always wanting to do it since a young child well i played the piano at six wow um wow and then kind of just like from from doing piano 
it kind of just gave me the musical ear to to like pursue uh, my writing and my production and yeah. anything else that yeah. ca- kind of comes with that musical training. That's really good. So you've literally just been in music basically your whole life, literally from the get-go. Yeah, li- pretty Would much. You, was you surrounded by music a lot when it's you It's in the family. Was it in the family, uh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Mum and dad don't really, you know, play instruments, but yeah. growing up, like, Motown was always in the household. Yeah, Like, 70s yeah. uh, was, a, was a big, like, aspect of my life anyway, okay. growing up. So I think that's why I've got such a love for soul and R and B. Yeah, because yeah, like, it's been ingrained into yes, me over the yes. years. So should we play one of your first tracks? Yeah. What track should we have up next? Uh, play fine if you want. Would you like to introduce it now? Yeah, this is uh, Ricky Walker. Um, you're listening to Pi Radio, and this is my record called Fine. Hope you like. Yes, 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 people. It's your girl, Janae Maya. You're locked into Pi Radio with the artist, Ricky Walker. The time right now is 6.32 if you're only just tuning in now. So that song just then is called Fine. Yep. Fine. How? Tell us about that. You said that it's not, it's unreleased at the moment. Yeah, it's unreleased, not, not out yet, no. Let us know the information. What are you thinking about the music video for it? When, you, when are you dropping it? Do you know any information about so, that? So, um... Yeah, I'm going to be dropping it um, maybe in a month or two, just okay. before summer. Yeah, uh, but it's got that very good summer vibe. Yeah, definitely got a summer feel. It's a track feel. I'm going to listen to with my girls, on the, well, hopefully, in the on the beach, if we're allowed yeah. to leave the UK. Blackpool's available. Blackpool's available, <laughs> or Farnby Beach. Not the same. But, <laughs> not the same. But that's the type of vibe I just want to like chill the girls with a drink and yeah. just like, just chill with it. Yeah, so yeah. tell us the concept of the video, what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking like good good times, good fun, uh, friendship, um, you know, escapism. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, like we're supposed to be going Afro Nation, uh, me and a couple of friends. Yeah. Uh, and I was thinking of doing like a, a film or a video out there. That would be quite fun. I feel like with the whole break we've had with the whole pandemic, yeah. it would be nice to see like, it's nice to see like the vibes, but if the music video like you're going out with your friends, it's like, it's what people want to see. Everyone's been stuck inside yeah. for so long now. And it's just like, yeah, with the song as well, when everything does open up in summer, it's gonna bank, it's gonna bring the vibes yeah. and everything like that. And it's not that. too serious either, yeah. like, like I've got conscious tracks and I've got yeah. tracks that are That's more- That's why I like, you've got the versatility there. Yeah, just more yeah, of a summer feel like, um, because like we said, we've all been through it with this mm-hmm, COVID thing, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just one of them where, like you said, a couple of drinks. Yeah. Uh, if you don't drink, have a coffee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of COVID, how has the pandemic affected your career? I think I think it's been a time for self-reflection. Yeah. Um, I think it's been a time of, um, you know, friends and family mean more than they did yeah, now. They, they're never like, you understand your day ones, yeah, you know, who's, you do, you who's do. checking in. And, and and just who's there for you genuinely like you know yeah. people all around the world have suffered from this but i feel like there's no excuse to not progress in the field it, that yeah. you want to progress yeah, in do you know what 100%. i mean well, i've asked artists like over time like how has it affected them and some people say it's affected them in a good way like they've had time to reflect like you just said and be at home and just like work on their music and then some people have said obviously it's affected in the bad way because they can't perform and do all these things that you want to do yeah the- so like i feel like it works both ways yeah, yeah. exactly uh, for me because i i've because i'm involved in other areas of music yeah um I, like i've been able to still kind of make some form of yeah. income through my songwriting that's and really from a production yeah. so i don't just have to rely on yeah performing. that's really good so would you say well you said you've been doing music for quite a long time yeah. how would you say the music scene has changed over the 10 years you've been doing it uh would you say it's changed in many ways or i'd say like the manchester and the uk scene has definitely changed with drill, drill. being introduced but yeah. drill just reminds me of grime with a, a slightly different Stiff- drum beat. Yeah, and yeah, a, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like with Gigs and Chipmunk and yeah. all, all these guys. And like, now it's just like Diggity and Nonti and all these, man. Yeah. Um, you know, it's the same. It's 140 BPM. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the same yeah. It's the same speed genre. Do you yeah. feel like Drill would be bigger than Grime was? Do you think that like, it's getting to that point? I or? think the only reason why it's bigger is because it's the music's more accessible to the audiences yeah. with Spotify, yeah, with YouTube. Right like 10 years ago when like Retro was first coming that, out, all, all like these that. was doing like Lord of the Mics, DVDs, mm-hmm. that, that kind of stuff. Yeah. As where now, like everything's just- With the power of social media, everything YouTube, can just get Instagram, out there, literally. Like, you know what I mean? You yeah. can pr- you, like you can promote a Sunday dinner on Instagram. Like, <laughs> do 
<laughs> like sponsored like, hey, posts, you know. Sunday dinner for yeah, sale. Yeah, you got about yeah. 10 people just buying it there. And yeah. it's like, you can literally just put anything on social media. Exactly. And it's just literally gone. Shall we play a bit more of your music? Yeah, that's like, fine. What should we have up next? Uh, play Stressed Out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this is Ricky Walker. Uh, you're locked into Pi Radio and you're now listening to my single, Stressed Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, people? It's your girl, Janae, and you're locked into Pi Radio. The time right now is 6.41 and I'm here with my special guest, Ricky Walker. That song just then was... You have to say it, so say it for me. I'm sorry. Stressed out. Stressed out. Stressed out. So tell me the concept behind that. How did you think of the idea? It was really, really good track, by the way. Just when things are getting um, a bit much, you know, um, it's kind of like I use music to escape. So yeah. that was like my um, my mirage or my ideology of uh, a good time with, like I said, friends and, yeah. you know, kind of just getting away uh, from, from everything and, and not letting everything, you know, Yeah, I rate, I rate that how you you use music a way just to get away from everything. I feel like I do that quite a lot as well, to yeah. be honest with you. I, I like to tend to listen to quite a lot of music, but it's good because you can make your own music yeah. to listen to. Yeah, that's a bonus. Situations. It is a bonus, it really is. And sometimes I look at it, it's bigger than me as well, like, like yeah it's good to write music for me and how i feel but yeah. sometimes i feel like you know it, it's it's the fans or it's my friends or it's my family that are listening yeah. and i feel like you know if they're feeling a certain type of way then i'd like them to you know play a song where i've written which is optimistic and you know to forget about their troubles as well yes, like i like that i really really like that so you said that that is dropping as well on the ep yes on the ep yeah. can you let us any more information about the ep what mm. when's it dropping about do you know uh, it's probably going to be dropping in june uh, yes. it's going to be about five to six tracks on okay, there okay okay so we've got plenty of tracks on there yeah good vibes on there for the, for the summer yeah. really really for good summer, yeah. definitely so do you want to upload um sorry do you want to introduce your next track yeah, so this next track's actually uh, came out. Uh, it's coming out. Wait, is it out? One set, what date is it? <laughs> uh, so it's the 25th, comes out on the 28th of March. Okay, 28th of March, yeah, not which, too long. Yeah, from Nana's birthday. Um, oh, happy birthday. Yeah, and this one's called Gravity. Um, okay. Hope you like it. What is going on, people? It's your girl, Janae Maya. You're locked into Pi Radio. The time is quarter to seven right now. That track just then, Gravity, let us know yep. about it. Um, yeah, that's recently done. Um, and it, it was kind of like my my like resurrection track just to come back and, yeah. and uh, you know, throw some bars on there, yeah. throw some singing on there. Uh, and just to kind of get like... Um, I don't know, just I feel for it again. Yeah, so you say that it's dropping very soon. When is it 28th, dropping? 28th, 28th of March. 28th yeah. of March, keep, yeah. keep the eyes out for yeah, that. Spotify, 100%. all yeah. that stuff. Yes, yes. So if you've got any up, well, not upcoming, on the way in the summer, yeah. is anything you're going to be doing, projects? Uh, yeah, so performance wise, anything like that? Performance wise, just just waiting for the, for the COVID thing to be over yeah, with, just 100%. to get definitely solidified dates. Uh, and in terms of projects, just kind of like networking um, and just working on different yeah. projects. I definitely want, because this this um, EP is like kind of very Afrobeat yeah. uh, inspired. Yeah. Uh, just with, all the vibes we with, need for with some more. Stressed out, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think the next project is going to be really R&B tailored. Okay, give it just, the versatility yeah, and of changing bring, it up. Yeah, bring the R&B like that. back. I like yeah. that, 100%. Because there's I really not many like people that. in the UK. Yeah. Like if, if I say, who do you listen to R&B wise? Everyone goes, Jaquiz yeah. or... Um, you know, obviously Western in the UK, but they're yeah. again Afrobeat tailored. Yeah. Chris Brown, Drizzy. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of want to be like, yeah, I want to yeah, be involved 100%. in the R and B in the UK. Yeah, I like that. Do you know I do I mean? feel like at the moment the UK R and B scene does actually slap. 100 percent there's probably it is, dope it is singers slacking. well I, I know i know dope singers yeah. already like yeah tyler daly out of children of zeus yeah yes Do you know what children i mean like he's, an, a, he's an amazing singer i interviewed king kai not too long ago yeah. he's done a couple of tracks with children of zeus and they're really really on it at the moment like, amazing again but their their stuff's like soulful as well yes. like I, I i'm just trying to create my own lane in 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 the r and yeah, world i rate that UK. i rate that highly so we are going to play one more track and then we're going to say our goodbyes yeah, yeah. after that do you want to introduce the next track for us yeah again this is another exclusive ricky walker on pi radio and this one's called 100 degrees yep yep 
so that was 100 degrees. Yep, yep, Amazing yep. track. I feel like that's my favorite out of all of them yep. at the moment that you showed me. But oh, yeah, tell us cool. the concept behind that. What was you thinking? Um, Wow. Um, was but, it just one of them ones you just vibing? You know what? It, it was one of those where, yeah, um, I was just feeling the music. Mm -hmm. uh, big shout out to Loud Pack from Manchester, who's a producer um, who produced that one. But yeah, I was just kind of feeling a vibe, uh, 100 degrees, mama, you 100 degrees. Obviously, I must have been feeling some type of way, to be honest with you, <laughs> yeah. when I read that. Um, yeah, I was just, I was just high amazing. off life, high wow, off that's music. That's really good. Um, we love that. We love that. So it is the end of the show. Unfortunately, we do have to say yeah. goodbyes, but you can shout out your socials now. Let the people know where to find you. Shout out your socials, your music, all of yeah. that. Yeah, so if you like, of what you heard uh, hopefully you do uh, to, to reach me uh, whether for collaborations or just to hear more music it's Instagram uh, at Ricky Walker UK uh, and then you can obviously check out my website which is uh, rickywalker.co.uk as well um, you know send me an email send me send me your music you know if you want a collab just just reach out I'm, yes, I'm all about networking we love that, we love that the networking one more question before we actually go, go is that what you're excited for in this year to come up with networking? Because I know that's one thing I cannot wait for yeah, is to network with other people and other artists. And just like, I feel like at the moment in the scene, it's just been slacking because of the pandemic. We've not yeah. been able to network that much, but are you excited to finally start getting out there to network yeah. a bit more? For me, uh, I just I just want to like collaborate with good talent. Yeah. Whether that's uh, emerging talent or whether yeah. that's existing talent that's already out there. Like, mm -hmm. um, I just don't want the industry to be full of vain and arrogant people. I, I, want, I feel that. I just want I people to that. like, oh, he raps, he produces, he you sings. You want someone on the good end. He plays the trumpet, the right he energy, plays yeah. the drums. You know, let's let's get together and Love that. I rate that highly. But Life's yeah. too short. Honestly, life is too short. Thank you, Ricky, for coming on the Sorry. show today on Pi Radio. Big shout Thank out to you for Pi everyone Radio. who's listened for today. Up next, we've got Gets with Proud Family. It's your girl, Janae Meyer on Pi Radio. Let's go.